I need to copy some files over to my brand new laptop. Huh? What's going on? I know I entered my password, right? Oh, it looks like Microsoft disabled it for the Windows 10 Home Edition. No wonder. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install and use the Google Chrome Remote Desktop. Now I'm on my new laptop. Just type Chrome Remote Desktop. As you can see, I already have it installed on my other two computers because I have it synced with my Google uh, Chrome account. So what I want to do is install for those of you who have never used it. Okay, set up remote access. Go ahead and click on the sub and install. Accept the default settings. Now you're going to name your desktop uh, computer. You can name anything you want. I'm just going to say uh, Dell Inspiron 15 Laptop. Choose a pen, any pen that you want. Um, six numbers, something easy to remember. Okay, that should be good. Okay, and that's my old Dell XPS 8300. That's my brand, well, somewhat new Dell XPS 8930. I'm gonna go here and click on the remote tab. And there you see, those are the three remote access uh, computers which I can use. I'm gonna go ahead and click on a laptop. So I'm gonna ask for my pin. Okay, I'm gonna enter my pin. It's easier to click on the remember so you don't have to always enter it. Connect to that. And let's see. Yep, that's the uh, wallpaper right there. See, corresponds to my laptop. It's as easy as that. Once you are connected to the remote desktop or the computer you want, you can choose the settings, whether it be full screen, uh, resize to fit, a scale to fit, smooth scaling, all the fancy stuff. You can just treat it like any other computer bringing up files, applications. See, bring up CNN. Or bring up a software like Adobe Premiere Pro. Basically, anything a computer does. <laughs> Now that we know how to use the Chrome remote desktop for viewing, but in order to transfer files, you can't just simply copy and paste because that doesn't work. So what we have to do is look for the IP address. Just type in network in the search. I'm gonna go ahead and go to settings, uh, network, internet, click on the properties. And what you wanna do is scroll down to the IP address right here copy this IP address that you see it's um, a set of 11 numbers xxx.xxx.xxx.xx so you're going to copy that okay I'm going to access the hard drive click on properties the hard drive or the partition that I want to share See right now it says it's not sharing. I'm gonna click on advanced sharing. Share this folder. So I have C shared. Uh, 
Okay, once again, I'm copying files from my Dell XPS 8930, and the file I'll be copying is called How to Deactivate Adobe Premiere Pro uh, YouTube video right here, which is 812 megabyte, about five minutes. Okay, now on my Inspiron 15 new laptop, let me show you simply copying from there and trying to uh, paste it, it will not work. See, it's grayed out. So here is where you have to do a run command. So type that along with the IP address of the computer you're trying to copy from. Okay, got my IP address entered. Now you're going to enter your credentials. Okay, so it looks like I don't remember my Windows network credentials. So what I can do is bypass that by going into my control panel, all control panel network and sharing, and clicking on disabling the password protected sharing. I'm going to turn it off. I might as well turn on public folder sharing too. Okay, now that I have shared the drive, Let's go ahead and try that command again. All right. If it does ask you for a Windows credential, just enter your Windows um, username and password. See, now I have the C drive, which is shared. Um, all the files that I want to copy. Let's go to the file that I just mentioned before. I had to do some rearranging, look for the file. Okay, that's it right there. How to deactivate Adobe. Copy. So keep in mind, I'm copying from my old PC, my Dell XPS 8930, onto my new laptop right here. Paste. See? It copies easily like that. You don't have to use Google Drive or any special um, software programming coding. And that's a wrap right there. And double click to so play. So I recently purchased a Dell there is. 15 touch laptop. So I hope this video was informational and that's how you use Chrome remote desktop and also how to transfer files back and forth.